Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, here once again with an F5.5, nothing new. This is my old school, old school carbon fiber, LMAX, Urban EDC Supply F5.5. Well, Urban EDC Supply just sent me a big box today. That's why this shirt looks familiar. I love this knife. I love this knife. I love Urban EDC Supply. It's no surprise. So this is episode two of the Urban EDC Supply unboxing. We're going to take a look at two more F5.5s. Two of them. Not one. Two. We got a pair. <laughs> I love... I love... I love the F5.5. It is... Just... The size, the weight, the blade shape, the steel, the cutting performance, the action, the ergos, the way it carries. I love this knife. I love everything about it. I legitimately do. It's incredible. Well, Urban EDC has been busy. They have been very busy. And we have two new versions here. We'll start with this one. We'll save the best for last. We got that, uh, we got that beautiful Vox Nays, uh pocket watch on there. Is that the Urban logo? Urban EDC pocket watch going on there. Clean white box. These are made by Rayot, hence the clean white box. Pre-order knife, UEDCS F5.5 Jade G10. So the... Uh, look, let me tell you a quick story while I open this. Nothing left in there. Nice little uh, thingy there. I overpaid for this knife by about $100. I paid $400 for this. You can pick this knife up now. For $230, $240, $250, if you're feeling frisky. I paid $400 for it. And at the time, I think it was the most expensive knife I ever bought. I overpaid because it was a super limited run, and I didn't know when they were ever coming back. Boy, are they back. And these are both available right now on Urban EDC Supply for you to go buy. So let's take a look. Ooh, I've only ever handled one vacuum-sealed jade Black coated blade, black coated everything. Oh, you know I'm a sucker for a coated blade. A lot has changed in my EDC life since I uh, bought this knife. Ooh, look, I'm not a big fan of jade, but I love the fact that it's so customizable. And jade, if if you can get it to take a rip dye, if you can dye jade, get it to take the color well. Aquamarine looks amazing. A purple, an emerald looks amazing because it's this, you get this translucent, bright, vibrant color uh, and it's stunning. But right off the bat, I love black on jade visually. I like it. Would I dye this if it were mine? Yes, 100% of the time. But it's not a bad looking knife. Uh, it's an F5.5. If you've never handled one, it's a Jesper Vox and his design. It's borderline perfect based on the custom F5. Future Me, F5. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's a banger. Uh, it is made by Rayot. Titanium backspacer. Nice jimping there. M390 on the G10 models here. Nice jimping right in the middle of the blade, which is right where your thumb lands. You'll see when we get to Ergos. Just a clean, pocketable, beautiful EDC. Uh, size comparisons real quick. Here is a rock wall. So about the same length as a rock wall. And here is a pair of three. So smaller than the pair three, and just right about the same size as the rock wall, just a little bit taller in the pocket, not a big deal. Love it. It's such a great size for EDC. So the Jade's nice, G10 scales. I think the pocket clip is titanium, all T8 hardware, even on the pocket hardware, the pocket clip hardware. Love to see that. M390 on the blade steel. Coded, not sure what the coating is. PVD, DLC, Future Me. What is it? I have no idea. Let's give her a flick. Ooh, detent is money. Super tall, sheep's foot style blade, relatively thick blade stock, so a nice start, uh, nice sturdy tip there. Very nice, very nice, really nice coating on there. Uber tall flat grind, real nice deployment hole. In hand, ergo's on this right here. Look where my thumb lands. See the jimping? Boom, right there. Right on the jimping, every time, every single time. So choke back, soft, soft, as a, as a, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, it's soft. I don't have a metaphor right now. I'm overwhelmed. There's a lot of stuff that just arrived today. It's money right here. 
choke up really nice sharpening choil that doubles as a real good finger choil you can choke up right behind that cutting edge all the control in the world pinch grip all day it's the pinch grip king this is like the birth of the pinch grip right here for me in my edc journey and i just love it all day really really well done lockup is solid as a rock action's great running on a set of ceramic bearings ray ott just does a bang up job with these and these are again future me 240 250 there will be links for these uh urban edc's website there will be links down below so if you don't have an f5.5 in your collection yet now's the time because they have two great options that are way cheaper than any past options as far as i'm aware of i dig it i dig it man actions money thumb flick detents cash cash reverse flick cash money reverse spidey drop all day all day dude acoustics with the g10 i honestly i think the detent might be even better on these g10 models than it is on my old lmax version it's old that knife this knife right here is like two almost two years old over a year old great so that is the jg10 coded m390 version along with my lmax version this is the one i'm pumped about this is the one i'm kind of shitting my pants about this is the one i may end up keeping and by i may i i will sorry urban edc just tell me how much i owe you matt if you're watching tell me how much i owe you man <laughs> we got another one really nice pouch by the way i don't know if i mentioned that before open her up it's the flippin stormtrooper variant of one of my all-time favorite EDC knives. Oh, give to me. Oh, come to me, Papa. Sorry, a little piece of plastic. Look at it. Look at it. I'm a big sucker for the Stormtrooper aesthetic. White on black, black on white. Either, however you, you run it. Reverse. I mean, look at my pair of three that I use for, for size comparisons. You know? What are you going to do, huh? Uh this is money so white g10 all blacked out hardware black titanium backspacer again nice jimping nice jimping blacked out blade pvd dlc future me i forget check the action on this one whoop Ooh yeah lock up again god i love the f5.5 i just adore it it is i think in all of my collecting it's one of if not the edc knives that has come the closest to perfection for me for what i need in an edc knife it's really hard to beat this i i i've never had an issue this is the third one i've handled three for three baby they just it's so good it's so good and i just love it that stormtrooper aesthetic and this knife it looks great no matter what kind of clothes it's wearing dress it up dress it down looks good in the tux looks good in a translucent green bodysuit you know for christ's sake translucent green spandex if you're feeling kinky oh it's beautiful acoustics on this one actions money out of the pouch by the way sealed in the container so i didn't get special ones as a reviewer these were sealed from the factory i just love it I just love it. I freaking love, love, oh, it makes me angry I love this knife so much. Let's cut something with these two new versions real quick, and then we'll wrap up. Got the phone book back. So let's do my old LMAX one first. It's great. I love LMAX. Let's try the Jade M390. Oh, it's, oh my god. I'm gonna be sick. It's better. It's better. Oh my god god dude my old lmax blades toothy it's always been toothy this is absurd that is a razor blade all right let's try the uh stormtrooper version oh god it's just as good <laughs> jesus 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 wow okay factory edge has gotten better that's for damn sure wow the f5.5 they just they just keep getting better man god i love this knife links for both of these in the description down below and i might even pin a comment i love this knife matt i need to send me a bill <laughs> i'm keeping this one 
I'm keeping it to match my pen and my spider co and my kumu tau and all the other stormtrooper stuff I have. That one's staying here. I love the F5.5. If you don't have one, I legitimately at this price point cannot recommend another knife over this. I can't. For 250 bucks, I legitimately cannot recommend another knife. This is the one you want. This is the one you should have. Urban EDC Supply has them. It's the only place you can get them. So click the link down below. Go buy them. Leave a like. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the F5.5. And if you end up buying one, let me know and tell me how much you love it. That is it for me. Plenty of pictures on Instagram and on Kara's Instagram. Follow us there. But that is it. I will link my full review of the F5.5 down below as well. Watch it. I love it. I love this knife. I, I do, if you can't tell, I'm kind of a big fan. But that is it for me. So until next time, thank you all oh so very much for watching. Bye-bye now.